a lot of what, what's been said today is really resonating with, with how we've gone about uh, approaching our, our strategy pivot, uh, which is really more just a branding and, and product pivot. And by, by that, I kind of want to reference something you said earlier, Aeon, by um, regarding the businesses that you've come from. Um, we're sort of the antithesis of like a Nestle. We're, you know, a very small, small to mid-sized business, um, recently acquired. Um, and what that means is the business came with very little data about who we were actually serving. We had, uh, we knew that the revenue was coming in and it was consistent and it was consistently growing at, um, at, at a rate, not the rate we would like it to be, but um, but so that was about all we knew. And so, in order for us to to figure out where we want to go, we have to start with where we are. And so we we looked really closely at our current customer base and just asked the the simple questions around segmentation. You know, who are they? Where are they? Um, are they business customers? Are they individual consumers? If they're business customers, what verticals do we? You know, what vertical trends do we see? Um, and then, of course, because we're sort of, you know, I've used this analogy before, we're, we're, we're building the plane as we fly it or building engine two as we fly it. So um, we've also got to keep revenue streams coming in. So we're also focused on just understanding of those customers who are buying more or of new prospects coming in, um, you know, what, what's attracting them as well. So we're, we're really understanding who they are, what they're, what they're doing. And then there's this other layer of needing to know why they're doing it, which um, gets really tricky when you start dealing with prospects and not clients. You know, current clients have some vested interest in, in maybe helping you along where prospects, to your point, if, they, if you give them too many options, they, they just opt out. And, and so to, to sort of beat them up with surveys at every interaction point in the, the site, that becomes problematic. So... So that's a long answer, but but the process for us started with really looking at our customer base, and that's that's sort of where we leveraged, uh, got with Valerie, worked with Valerie on this, did a great job, yep. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, in putting together, you know, uh, the right platform and uh, questions that to be asked, so that we could get what we really needed to to get from our customers without hammering them um, with, with a bunch of you know, surveys yeah. and emails and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, so I think, I think that's pretty much, you know, like I said, you guys have, you guys have been pivotal in, in our understanding. And we actually um, made some very early and, and big decisions around what, what we learned that, um, that I do think will ultimately drive how we end up branding the business. I mean, first we had, like I said, we have to understand who's buying, who wants to buy, what are, what are two point... 2.0 customer, we call them our next gen, or 2.0 customer is, um, who do we really want to attract and and leverage some of that, that what we learned to build out a plan to kind of, to reach them. 